Acedonia in the 50 and today we're going to do a review of the of two Doctor Who figures. That first one we've got Wave 3 a Scorebox Blitzer Articulated Action figure. Yeah, this is that thing that attacked that school in this year. And we also get Supreme Gold Dalek from Dale of Dalek 1972. The 10th Doctor, the 11th Doctor, Amy Pond, the 12th Doctor, I don't come with any accessories or any special, or, and the score box blitz, and we also got a TARDIS and a Dalek Patrol ship and pack, which, which was not in the show, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't remember it anyway. Let's go opening this then. Aim at the packet. Oh dear. It's going to get bad as well, I think. It's far, isn't it? Yes, it is. The right put for not security on this. Yeah, we've got we've got into it. So I got now nothing. There he is. Right, so let's get the legs out. There's a the leg. He's quite well painted. Which of these are all going to be that same? But. Yep, another leg. Yeah, all these are pretty much the same, aren't they? So I don't know why I'm showing all these. Yeah, come back it. There we go. Oops, and there we go, slide. Alright, it's kind of uh there he is, there's a scorebox blitz so minus his leg, so is he? Yep, he's got some articulation in his head a bit. Yep, his arms can move. Not much, but Enough so it can at least do some pauses. Now it's at the back of it, it's got some wires. Let's, let's get his legs on. Let's get his legs on. So let's look at the bottom of it. What is this? You see, 2004. Da, 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 da. It's 2004, but this was, on, was released this year. There he is, a Scovolt Blitzer. <laughs> right, next one we've got. A bit of an older one, this one. It's Ice Warrior. That's a very old Doctor Who character, but he returned in, in the 2013 series, didn't he? So, yeah. This guy comes with something different than the previous figure. He comes with a stand. Some nonsense written on this. this is 2010 written on that one. There is the ice quarry himself. How pauseful is it? See? It yeah, bends in his feet. Yep, yeah, got. I know the mecha looks like I'm making him dance, but. Watching his hand. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. That's a stretch. Stretch and exercise for action figures in his head. Nah, his head doesn't turn that much. Nah, so he's got a stand, so he can stand him on that. Yep, yeah, there's those two, so right. Let's, oh, let's drop the camera down a bit so you can see him a bit better. There's a Scovox Blitzer, a big bet shot of it. He doesn't do anything, you see, he's not a mechanic or anything, he's just like... And there's the Ice Warrior. So let's see, one important thing about these figures, <laughs> I have to check with all things this time. Does he fit in, in, in the pineapple tank? There is the pineapple tank, does the Ice Warrior fit inside it? Can he pilot the, pine the almighty pineapple tank? Yes, he can. Yes, he can pi pi pilot the Almighty Pineapple Tank. Can he actually hold on, hold the handle of it? Uh, not very well, but yes, he can pilot pineapple the pineapple tank, so he can fight the Scorbot split <laughs> on land. That's an important test for me. He has to be fit in the pineapple tank. It gives him extra bonus points if he does, because the pineapple tank is awesome. Well, anyway, thank you for watching.